Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. What are you doing out here? I'm getting herbs from the garden because we're going to cook today chicken, pollo al vino rosso, chicken with red wine. Mm, one of my favorite recipes. Yes, so I need sage. I'll get some sage here. Fresh sage, it's beautiful. Then we got to get some rosemary and uh, bay leaves. Three, but we need just a couple of them. Do you think you might go for a swim later? Yes, the world is very pleasant, the temple is perfect. We need uh, a twig for the rosemary. I'll just get two just in case, but we need one. Okay, so this is the herbs that uh, we need for our recipe. Rosemary, sage and bay leaves. To make polo al vino rosso, we need uh, um, these ingredients. First, we need chicken. In this case, we are using three uh, chicken thighs. We need herbs, have been collected from the garden before, sage, rosemary, and uh, bay leaves. We need a uh, red onion, carrot, parsley, celery, a glass of red wine and uh, extra virgin olive oil. So this is a sort of general Italian recipe, isn't it? And it's something we make quite often when people come over. And if you think three thighs looks a bit mean, this is just because it's for our lunch. Yes. Usually we do two per person. Two tiny thighs per person. Uh, sometimes we can also use uh, um, legs as well, or, but not um, chicken breast, otherwise it gets too dry. So you need a bit of bone in there? Yes, we need a bit of bone because uh, uh, the marrow, uh, the bone marrow inside the thighs makes the... Uh, Moisture in there. Moisture, yes. Uh, it is different from other um, pieces of chicken. The most important thing that you need um, good quality ingredients. It's be quite rough in order to find uh, chopping because it is a, a rustic uh, recipe. The first thing to do is to cover the bottom of the pan with extra virgin olive oil. So about, I would say three tablespoons. Now I've got to turn the heating on. Gas. The gas on. <laughs> the gas on. <laughs> The heat on. <laughs> okay. Now the oil is getting hot and I've got to add the chicken thighs. Good. 
тут. Он тут. Что надо ставки тут брендом? Я вам подвожу этот оклет. Вон что-то возьми. Then I got the stage and a couple of daily things. Now we can remove the chicken from the pan. And we also got to remove the heads, otherwise they get too dry. And we don't want to remove the needles from the rosemary that they're not probably pleasant in addition. Next stage I'm going to add the onions. I want to stop the onions and then I got to add the other vegetables. Now I'm going to add all the vegetables, carrots and celery. We add now the chicken back to the pan. And we are going to uh, add a glass of uh, red wine. Get candy. Now it's in a low heat. We got a chicken, the vegetable wine. I'm going to season it and uh, would you serve a cantone with it, a side dish mm, yes i mean uh, if you can have a if you have the time to potatoes so i would prefer actually steamed greens with a drop of olive oil how would you like it Good. Sometimes we do lentils. Lentils as well, so it makes a bit more substantial dish for you. And uh, I also like to add a little bit of ground pepper. Next stage is that uh, to cover it. And I'm going to put it on a very low flame. And cook it for how long? I would say half an hour, more or less. Be okay. What I'm going to do next is to add some pasta. So add this pasta to the chicken. And the add meat, I finish it off and we can eat it. Oh, yummy. Mm, it smells good. Really simple dish, and it's actually good if friends come around. It is very simple because uh, you can actually cook it in a, an hour, including half an hour 
Cookie. When you can lay the table. Yes. And often, actually, in Italy, you might have a pasta fry. Yes. Or something. Then this is the secondo, so you wouldn't necessarily need a contorno. No, we got the vegetables here. We got the first piatto and we have bowl of pasta. Secondo piatto. We can have primo piatto and be a bowl of pasta. Secondo piatto can be chicken with the vegetables. I think we have made enough and uh, we can eat it. We can serve it now. What do you think, Celia? Mm. 